But you see, when your only child dies, then you're not a mother anymore. You're not anything, really. And that's what I'm trying to get used to. You're a grandmother. And I know you're going to be a wonderful one. My husband is dead. Can't you understand what that means? After all he suffered in the war, he's killed in a stupid car crash. Matthew is dead 50 years before his time. Isn't that enough for me to deal with? Just leave me alone. Exactly what I was afraid of. Go to bed. You look done in. With Matthew's death, all the softness that he found in me seems to have dried up and drained away. Maybe it was only ever there in his imagination. Oh, my dear, there's more than one type of good mother. The fact is, you have a straightforward choice before you. You must choose either death or life. And you think I should choose life? We were very fond of Mr. Crawley, you know, my lady. All of us. I... <laughs> you cry, my lady. You have a good cry. That's what's needed now. And when you're ready, you can get to work. Because you are strong enough. Yeah. You're strong enough for the task. But am I, Carson? That's the point. Papa doesn't seem to think so. Don't you owe it to Mr. Crawley to protect his work? To fight for the changes he made? To steer Downton in the right direction? I know I can always count on you for a draft of self-confidence whenever I start to doubt. And you will always find one here. Good night, Carson. Good night.